there's a baby cub, grizzly cub. Welcome to Parks and Places Online. I'm Tom, and today we're continuing our exploration of Alaska. In our last video, we talked about exploring southeast Alaska using the Alaskan Marine Highway the ferry system that lets you explore the islands that make up southeast Alaska. Today we're going to be talking about the same region of Alaska, the southeast area, the panhandle of Alaska, but specifically those areas that are accessible by car. And the order is if you were driving to Alaska. Now we took the ferry into Alaska and then we drove down, so we saw them in the reverse order, but that doesn't really matter. The closest city in Alaska that you can drive to might be closer than you think. Hyder, Alaska is 988 miles from Seattle. Yeah, that's still a long way, but it might be, it was, it's certainly closer than what I thought. Hyder, Alaska is just across the border from Stewart, British Columbia, Canada. So getting into Hyder requires a border crossing from Canada into the United States. Getting out of Hyder requires a border crossing from the United States into Canada. There are two main attractions in Hyder, Alaska. Fish Creek Wildlife Observation Site is a stretch of the creek that runs wide and shallow. This makes for easy fishing compared to other stretches of rivers that are deep and swift. To accommodate the viewing of the animals, they built an elevated platform that runs this stretch of the river to accommodate the tourists. It gives you an elevated view, but being safe away from the animals. When the salmon are running, this is one of the few places where the food is so abundant that black bears, grizzlies, and wolves all tolerate each other. Normally, they're very territorial and they would chase each other away out of their area. But at Fish Creek, food is so abundant they all seem to tolerate each other. We just missed, by a few minutes, uh, an opportunity where there was a grizzly bear and a wolf on the same spot. A guy showed us a picture where he had in the same camera frame the wolf and the grizzly together. We didn't see any wolves, but we saw plenty of black bear and grizzlies while we were there. Seeing bears fish in the river was always on my bucket list of things to see, and Fish Creek observation sites certainly did not disappoint. Fish, fish everywhere. We are in Hyder at the wildlife viewing platform. And there are plenty of salmon all over the stream. We got this really nice boardwalk for people to watch the bears come. I don't see any bear at the moment. All the fish frenzy when there's a bear around. It's a very large black bear. Yeah, 
Jersey's gone and Black Fair came on. <laughs> Fish at both sides. How frustrating that's got to be. The second sight to see in Hyder, Alaska is Salmon Glacier. It's just a few miles down the road from the wildlife observation site. Now, unfortunately, when we were there, it was pretty cloudy. The clouds didn't lift, so we didn't really get to see Salmon Glacier. But from pictures on the internet, it is a spectacular sight. There are extremely few services in Hyder, Alaska. There's no gas stations, there's no hotels, uh, there's no stores that I can think of. The 2010 census of Hyder, Alaska is 87, and I don't think it's gone up a whole lot since then. Across the border into Canada, Stewart, British Columbia has a population five times the size of Hyder, but that's still less than 500 people. 
Stewart did have a gas station and it even had a campground. But if you're looking for a McDonald's or a Safeway, you're not going to find it. So stock up on your food before you come towards Hyder. The drive into and out of Hyder is along Route 37A. This is a pretty drive unto itself. Along the drive are waterfalls, and then there is Bear Glacier, which is a nice glacier that flows into a lake. Click the link in the description below to see an interactive map of the Hyder area. Click on a marker to see photos of the sites around Hyder. And many more bear pictures. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. Next video we move 700 miles north to Skagway in our Alaska series.